One of my favorite components in Angular Material is, of course, the matte icon. It allows you to use one of many pre-built icons that come with Angular Material. But what if you want to use your own custom SVG icon with maybe more than one color at the same time, and you want to adapt it to the Angular Material theme? Let's see how you can customize your Angular Material icons. Angular Material gives you hundreds of icons out of the box, but sometimes you just want to use your own. Maybe it's a custom design, maybe it's a brand specific icon, or something that just fits your app better. Some of these icons even come with more than one color. For example, these are dual tone icons. They are designed to use two variations of the same color. Now, in this demo, Angular a Material Application, I've defined a theme and placed some icons. By default, they appear black, but we can change that using the color property. I added three classes, primary, tertiary, and error, each of which uses material design tokens to set the current color based on the theme. Now, let's say I want to use three custom icons that aren't part of the Material icon set. Angular Material allows you to use your own custom SVG icons by using the Icon Registry service. You just drop the SVG files into your assets or public folder, then you create a service to handle initialization. I called mine init service. This service injects the Matt Icon Registry service. We also need the DOM sanitizer. The DOM sanitizer sanitizes your SVGs to prevent malicious code. So now we can register the sanitized SVGs using the add SVG icon method along with a unique name. Now we go to the app config and use an app initializer to trigger the method before application startup. And since it's going to use HTTP to access the SVG files, we will also provide the HTTP client. So now we've registered the icons, we gave them names, and we can use them in our own templates. We can do that using the mat icon component and the SVG icon input. This refers to the registry and uses the icons that we've just introduced. But now, you can see that we have a little problem. Our custom icons appear in static colors hard-coded into the SVGs. They do not respond to the current color as set by the CSS or to the Angular Material theme. That's because SVG icons are implemented differently than the Material icons. Material icons are actually just characters in a special font called Material icons. And since they're just text, they are displayed using the current color and color, current font size as set by the CSS properties. SVG works a little bit different. Unlike font-based icons, SVG icons are embedded as actual SVG elements in the DOM. In the DevTools, you'll see that each icon forms its own little DOM island. It doesn't automatically inherit styles from the surrounding context. The good news is that SVG islands can be styled using CSS. So this is the SVG file, and you see that we include three paths, each using a fill that is set with hard-coded color values. We'll replace them with CSS custom properties. In the root of the SVG, we'll define color1 and color2 using the style attribute. Color1 will be equal to a special CSS constant called current color. This color represents the current effective color, one that you can change using the color property. The second color will use relative color syntax and create a 50% transparent version of the current color. Now we can replace all the hard-coded values with references to the custom properties we've created. We will replace the black with color1 and the gray with color 2. So that means that the actual color values are now controlled 
using the CSS color property. We'll do the same to the other SVG files. And as you can see, now our icons are painted according to the color property, which by itself is defined according to the theme. So the icons now comply with the theme. Now we can even change themes. We can change our primary and tertiary palettes and see how it affects the icons as well. This is just one little trick you can use to theme and customize your application. And there are so many more tricks and techniques. If you want to dive deeper and master these techniques, I pack them into my new Udemy course titled Theming Angular and Material MD3, The Missing Guide. In this course, you'll find advanced theming techniques and best practices. Together, they will help you easily theme and customize your Angular applications, whether you use Angular material or not. You can find a link and a coupon in the description. So thanks for watching and happy theming.